Welcome to Geneva and WISIS Forum 2022. And with me is uh, Swad Al Shamsi, who is Senior Manager Digital in the Enablement Development section of the UAE. Very pleased to meet you. Very pleased to be here within this great conference. And tell me about the exciting project that you've uh, come to share sure. with the rest of the delegates. Sure. I mean, everyone here within the conference have one vision which is improving the quality of life of citizens across the globe. And we were looking at how technology can help uh, meeting that objective. And in a specific, the leadership in UAE were thinking of the blockchain as a technology back in 2018, and how will that help uh, improving the quality of life of citizens. We have looked at different use cases, and we tried to find what is the real problem and, or opportunity that we have to utilize this technology to achieve such a great objective. And uh, if we look at the quality of life and the citizen in general, right, the core principle that we have is the identity. Who are you? Uh, and who are you is not just your name, right, or date of birth. It's everything about the individual, your education, the property you own, and everything which is related to you, your relationship, are you married or not married, uh, where you're working, and all of this constitute of your identity. And while we're moving to a digital world, we need to have the equal or maybe even better uh, identification of yourself or of the individual. And we have worked with different technology uh, to uh, achieve that and transform or be able to transform a physical identity into a digital identity that you can identi uh, uh, prove yourself in a digital world. You can prove your identity, uh, what documents do you own, uh, who you are, what properties you have, and that is to enable you to uh, control your identity and be able to share it to apply for services the exact same way you're doing in a physical world. So for example, if you want to open a bank account, then you need to prove yourself. You need to prove if you have a credit score Core, you need to prove your um, citizenship and all the other elements of that. Uh, so we worked with that and we have come up with this initiative, the UAE Pass and the Digital Vault, where in which any citizen in UAE can register themselves in a very um, accurate and highly trusted way uh, through uh, either a biometric fingerprint or facial recognition, you get registered. We know that uh, you are the same physical person as the digital person. Then uh, we work with different government entities who issue your uh, identity documents and other documents to be issued digitally, where in which they can be trusted and they can be verified at any point in time. And we've also worked with different service providers, such as the banking sector, and now we're working with the insurance sector, to be able to have a seamless journey, where in which there is no need to uh, visit the place to identify yourself or to prove your documents or even to have a handwritten signature. All of this can be done within seconds at any point in time digitally. And that was the core focus of the initiative. It came very handy at COVID-19 mm -hmm. during the pandemic because literally we were locked down and we were not able to navigate across UAE, but you still can avail all these critical services uh, really from your home at any point in time. And there must be so many stakeholders involved in this. How yes. have you managed their expectations? Yes, and that's really important because you're developing it, A, for the citizen, so it should be services which is easy, convenient for the citizen, but also you have all the others. So we touched upon, for example, the service provider. We had a co-design uh, sessions with them to work with them because they understand the domain, we understand technology, they understand the business. How can we redesign the services with them? More importantly, they are regulated, right? Banking sector, for example. So regulation also plays a role. How can the regulator trust that we can transform the physical verification into a uh, virtual one? We had them also be an address to verify that we have all the elements from a privacy, security, the standards, everything that they look at to ensure that this uh, transaction is genuine and also not to forget the legal. So if there's a dispute at any point in time, how can we prove to the court that this is actually uh, supported and can be proven? So addressing them was really important, looking at all the aspects, not only technology, technology, the policy makers, regulators, legals, the business, and most importantly, the citizen themselves. So we had multiple workshops. We were able to issue a new law, uh, the digital signature law, to support the digital signature within the application. Uh, there was a support from the Prime Minister office, where which there was a policy that has been issued to promote the UA pass and the digital vault. And also from the regulator, a central bank, for example, have issued circulars, where in which uh, they have adopted the financial sector to consider that the digital vault and the UA pass is equal to the physical verification. So it was really important to meet the expectation from all the stakeholders within the ecosystem. It's so interesting to hear about. Thank you yeah. so much, Swad Al-Shamsi.
Thank you. Thank you so much.